and other writers' laboratories would like to welcome you to the engineering week here at Epcot Innovations. Please join us in welcoming engineer, educator, and celebrated TV personality, Mr. Bill Nye, the science guy.
these are well suited to this demonstration because they're thin. It's heavy, isn't it, sir? The fire triangle in Sarah, ladies and gentlemen. Watch the videos in school. Thank you. God, you must watch them well enough. Yes. <laughs> yes. God, she just pulled the oxygen, if I may, right out of the air. <laughs> See what you did there. <laughs> All right. So, we have uh, Rob from Underwriters Laboratories, who's properly suited for this dangerous demonstration <laughs> involving fire. Rob doesn't wear a bow tie. They're, it's a relaxed company. They focus on their uh, business clothes. He's business casual. Yes, Rob. Business casual. So, uh, the wood chips are fuel. You may have known the wood birds. You may have seen wood burning. Uh, then we will have oxygen because this flask, this is called a distilling flask. It also resembles any wood style flask. A Florence flask, thank you. Kids, it's a school. <laughs> you know what it is? We're going to just the earbuds, the playlist. They don't know a Florence flask coming out of the wire. It's alright. <laughs> it's okay, don't worry about me. It's okay. There's air in there which bears oxygen from living things. And what we need is heat. And uh, we can get heat from our burner. I will wear the safety glasses to prevent instant death. <laughs> and we have some matches here. Rob has opened the valve. Have you opened the valve? He's opened the valve. Seconds away, moments away. Uh, uh, it's going. So uh, that's boosted, Rob. Boosted good. That's how it's, it's well. Right? Boosted well. It's an adverb. I was paraphrasing the popular. Uh, so on. Open the valve, right? Open the valve. More valve. I guess we have a breeze in here. Uh, did we, I think we handled this a little bit. Uh, was, boy, it was going so well. So here we go. What happens is, you may be familiar with lighting matches and holding them to pieces of wood. And then you think, well, the flame got on the wood and the wood started burning. But it's actually more subtle than that. Has anybody uh, not heard of a backdraft? You've heard of a backdraft? You've never heard of a backdraft? you ever heard of a smoke explosion? Well, let's talk about it, shall we? <laughs> so, uh, what actually burns, when most materials burn, what's really burning is a gas. Even if it's a solid object, like a wooden log, or your school, <laughs> it is a gas that's burning. So this is open and rolling. Believe me, ladies and gentlemen, we, we checked this seconds ago. I think what's happened is this uh, oxygen uh, window has gotten too uh, wide. There you go. So uh, anyway, what happens is the wood, influenced by the heat of the motor, turns to a gas. Then the gas comes out of this distilling flask neck, which you'll see goes a little bit downhill, and that helps it hold some gas in there. Oh, Bill. And then, oh, there it goes. And we were just doing it in the office upstairs. You were doing it in the office? Yes. <laughs> yes, we were. And uh, let's open her up. Downhill, you think? This is done that they do that for safety. <laughs> let's see, you can see how the air conditioning's blown. It's quite a gust. Well, believe me, it works. <laughs> Ha, ha, ha. 
What? Her name is Stephanie, <laughs> and she's with uh, Leah. And you can go over there and uh, petition. Thank you. All for Or is it brown or purple? Yes, sir. Um, I do demonstrations as a teacher. When you do a demonstration, you usually like try to get the kids involved with it or try to have them ask questions, or you do it and then ask questions afterwards. Well, you want to show them tell. But uh, but we had the fire triangle, and that was, I thought that provided drama. <laughs> Crazy Sarah comes out just like wham, wham, wham. So I think that was pretty good. So that was telling the show, but we got through it. The air, it just shows you also, as a teacher, you've had things go wrong. Oh, yeah. The air conditioning really was uh, traumatic. 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 <laughs> so, yeah. So, last question. Thank you, sir. Last question. Anybody? I think it's over here. Yes. Guy in hat. Okay, project. Let him hear the outside. Blow the roof off the top. I can't hear it. Can somebody be right? How did you know you were going to become a scientist? How did I know? I don't remember. <laughs> no, I'm not kidding. I, I loved it before I can remember, before I was three years old. And I talk about this a lot. I remember very well watching Beans. Beans. And then in Ripley's Believe It or Not, in the Washington Post, I used to deliver the Washington Post, uh, it said, according to aerodynamic theory, bees cannot fly. And even at a young age, I realized there was nothing really wrong with the bee. The problem was almost certainly with the theory. The theory was messed up, not the bee. So I went on to get a job at Boeing. That's a great question. Thank you all for coming by. Thank you.